right guys, there are literally two months left in the year and I have been thinking a lot about the reinvention of yourself and I know it's like a really trending topic to like reinvent yourself and become like that girl. But there has to be a way to do it like in a healthy way. It doesn't always have to be like to the extreme, to the max any very difficult and not so sustainable route because I find that a lot of people that are doing like the reinventing themselves challenge type thing, it's not sustainable, it's really difficult. And for those who are kind of chaotic, have busy lives, maybe you're not super together, these tips and tricks really wouldn't help you because you need to start from like ground zero and these people are starting from like a very good place where it just kind of comes off as like, wow, you've been organized and just together your whole life. I wanted to give you guys some really, really, really helpful tips that I've been doing and that I'm currently doing to reinvent myself this year because let's just say 2022 was like an interesting year for me. There was a lot of growth, a lot of learning, a lot of just a lot of learning myself. This is my first time literally living with myself alone. So it's been quite the journey. Some moments a little bit crazier and embarrassing than others, but hey, I learned a lot. I also wanted to say that today's video is sponsored by Thrive. Thrive Market is an amazing website that you guys can buy your favorite food and goodies from. And I'm gonna talk more about that later in today's video, but I wanted to shout them out in the beginning to say thank you. And yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And let's just get into how to reinvent yourself in a healthy way because we're not about to do anything that we can't do on day five. We wanna you know, keep this going for hopefully a lifelong sentence. First thing you wanna do to reinvent yourself, invest in yourself, but with limits. You don't have to literally spend your last dollar getting yourself all the way together. When I buy little things here and there, it really eventually accumulates over time. You don't have to get something today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day and go broke over it because you're gonna just end up realizing that you're in competition with others and not with yourself. Rome was not built in a day, neither is your wardrobe, neither is your hairstyle, neither is your skincare, neither is your body. You have to take it slow. I have set small goals for myself in what I wanna do in the next few months. So every month I'll have like a tiny goal. So for instance, I want new cups for my kitchen, not only for aestheticism, but for actual drinking purposes. So I have that on my November buys to get nice cute cups that are more matching of my aesthetic. Then December buys are a little bit more because obviously it's Christmas time, but you know, I have like a pair of boots that I really want that I think will be a great part of my wardrobe and um, some hair extensions. You want things to just kind of gradually build over time. You don't have to go crazy and spend a lot of money and building a capsule wardrobe will really help you and it will allow you to interchange a lot of different things, saving money, and it will be like the new version of yourself. If you wanna start dressing more modestly, you're getting a little bit older, you wanna wear more neutrals, buy a few different tops here and there, maybe like four individual tops and two bottoms, and you can make a ton of outfits out of that. So definitely invest in yourself with limitations. Don't go broke trying to spend money on changing your life. Number two, this is a big one. Eat intuitively and intentionally. For me, dieting has never been a thing. I actually hate diet culture. What I prefer to do is to eat when I'm hungry and don't overeat. I never allow myself to eat until I'm full and dying and stuffed and curled over. That's just not my thing. And I also know and I'm aware of what is healthy and what isn't. So. I would say eight out of 10 times, I'm gonna always choose the healthy route. And then when I go out with my girlfriends and we do drinks and dinner like that, I will splurge. That is what I like to do. In my new reinventing of myself, I want to keep more healthy foods in the house and I do not wanna spend as much money getting food to go. That has been my personal you know, plan. I do eat pretty healthy for lunch and dinner, even if I do buy out, but I want to save money and I want to also have more nourishing things that I know I made in the house. So like literally yesterday I made myself like a tahini pasta salad and it is so good. I have been keeping things like that in my fridge that I'll reach for more that are also really healthy. And I find that this is going to help me get to my goals faster with my body goals and just even my health goals in general, like my internal health. So that when I do get my blood work done, they're not gonna tell me that I have high cholesterol. Okay, let's talk about today's sponsor, which is Thrive Market. I am so excited because I love talking about healthy food. I like talking about food in general. And Thrive Market is like, amazing. It's an online organic grocery store that essentially lets you get all of your favorite groceries and snacks and things like that at 30% less than your traditional health food store. It just makes healthy 
eating and living a lot more easier and less expensive, which I think is incredible because we shouldn't have to be paying top dollar to take good care of ourselves. They have a wide selection of organic groceries, snacks, supplements, eco-friendly supplies and cleaners. The list goes on. I was so pleasantly surprised to see how incredibly fast and efficient my Thrive Market groceries came. I literally ate them all this week. Like I have nothing to show you. I will insert a clip of when I first got them though and show you what I got. Okay, so by the way, my dogs are eating right now. So if you guys hear a noise, it's just them. But I wanted to do a quick little Thrive haul because I just got my Thrive box and clearly I was in the mood for snacks because I got a lot of snacks. But I'm gonna show you everything I got. So I got these rind peach chips these look so good like something is telling me that they're healthy yeah not bad oh, i'm gonna really like those um i've had these before the vegan white cheddar hip peas puffs these are so freaking addicting i love the minion on the cover um these are just delicious perfect snack these i can already tell i'm gonna be obsessed with creamy peanut butter filled pretzels i'm obsessed with peanut butter anything so vibes i also got organic freeze-dried strawberries because i don't know i just like to eat my fruit in different ways i'm weird and i got vegan jerky because i actually love vegan jerky but i've never tried this brand so i'm excited it's smoky carolina barbecue yum um, I ran out of almond butter, so what I like about Thrive Market is they have things that you can re-up on that you can get at the grocery store, but a little bit more like organic brands and just things like that. And these are my favorite fig bars of all time, the Nature's Bakery gluten-free fig bars. They are essentially like having like, um, what's the ones that were like super famous when we were growing up? Fig Newtons, yeah. This is very similar, but I actually think these are way better. Like the filling is more delicious. So this is everything I got from Thrive. I'm going to be eating it this week. I'm so excited. I'm going to put it all away. But yeah, thank you so much, Thrive, for sending me these amazing treats. I'm so excited to try them all out. And you guys know that I am plant-based. I would say that I'm majority of the time, like 90% plant-based. And they had a amazing selection of vegan treats. And they also have food for people who are gluten-free, who are keto, who are paleo. The list goes on. It's just a really great place to pick up your favorite things, especially if you have some sort of dietary restriction and you don't know how to branch out and get something different than like the traditional grocery store has. Join Thrive Market today and get 30% off of your first purchase plus a $60 free gift using my link, which is also going to be in the description box, which is thrivemarket.com slash Haley Gamba. Thank you, thank you again so much Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. I loved all of my treats and I think you guys are gonna all really like them as well. Okay, number three is to ditch any external influences that are making you sick. What I mean about this is too much TV, too much social media, too much any consumption that is making you clouded. I know a lot of people who watch the news so often that they are crazy, okay? They think everybody else to get them. They think that life is just terrible and listen i know the world is a crazy and scary place but sometimes you have to just laser focus on the positives you have to sometimes turn off all that external noise and get well within because you cannot really build a healthy cultivating habit lifestyle if you're always paying attention to what other people are doing. It's just not the vibe. So in reinventing yourself, start to focus on spending more time with you. Watch things that do make you happy. Do things that make you happy. Try to have a morning routine that is social media free, a night routine that is social media free. Read more. Do things that are nourishing to the mind, body, and soul, and you are gonna be in a better place. Okay, number four is to learn from people you admire. So whether you are trying to reinvent yourself for career purposes, for mood purposes, for life in general, you wanna learn from people that you admire in those areas of your life. For me, I have been spending more time, you know, listening to audiobooks and motivational speakers that do inspire me, that make me wanna be a better person, make me wanna be a better woman. And it has allowed me to free my mind of things that weren't serving me and start actually absorbing things that make me feel good and that make me actually take the initiatives to be better. That is something that is so freaking huge to me. So definitely give that a try. It is okay to look up to people and learn from people. I don't know about this whole copycat culture. Nothing in this world is original anymore. As long as you put your spin on it and it is a reflection of you and your vibe, then it is essentially okay. And that is something that I wanted to 
put out there because I think a lot of people are like, what do you mean learn from someone that I admire? Like, what are you suggesting I do? Hey, listen, there are people that I watch on TikTok that are like extremely neat and clean. I like to surround myself with that type of energy to make myself cleaner. Ever since I've been watching people like that, my house has been spotless. It's been so nice. It's kind of like that saying where they say like you surround yourself with six clowns, you're the seventh. That's kind of how I feel about the things that you consume as well and the people that you learn from. If you're consuming positive content or positive vibes in your real life, you're going to reflect those things. It's amazing. Number five is realizing that you have to give up some bad habits. When you are reinventing yourself, there's a lot of inner work that needs to be done. No more gossiping, no more negative self-talk. You need to have more boundaries. You can't be a people pleaser anymore. There are a lot of things that you're gonna have to work on that have to do with who you are as a person that is going to allow you to step into the next phase in your life. You do not wanna be somebody who skates through life being a doormat to those who are around you, especially people who essentially really don't matter. I mean, some of these people might matter, but very rarely are they that big of an influence in our lives that we are walking around not being authentic and not being good to ourselves. Having a genuine perspective when it comes to taking care of yourself, knowing that being selfish is necessary sometimes will make your life significantly better. Have boundaries, stop being a people pleaser, be a little bit more discerning, try to be a little bit harder to get in dating and things like that. There's a lot of things that you can do that are going to help you in your reinvention process. For me, I have been just really focused on bettering myself as a person, that anybody who walks into my life, whether it's a friend, a partner, anyone that comes into my life has to be top tier, has to be in a good place, because I am, and it's really difficult to get into this inner space. Okay, this is huge when it comes to, especially those who work from home, and honestly, you don't even have to work from home, because it could just be a reinvention of your look overall. Get your aesthetic together. I think a lot of people maybe struggle with their aesthetic. I think it's important to go on Pinterest and get some ideas. I know my aesthetic personally. When it comes to my home, I'm very particular. I like neutrals with pops of color and I realize I don't have much color in my apartment. So that has been something that I want to work on and that is things that I'm going to start picking up on. I love metallics and I would consider my style to be very Aspen home chic. I like boucle, I like furs, I like things that feel warm and cozy like a fireplace vibe and I wanna turn my apartment into that cozy vibe because it's really, really, really important that my apartment reflects how I actually feel inside. So getting my aesthetic together in my home and in my looks are top tier. For me lately, I've been really loving natural hair, natural makeup looks, and when it comes to my clothing, I wanna have just staple warm tone and neutral colors with pops of color. It all kinda just translates from clothes to home. I have very similar styles in both, so I'm just trying to kind of marry the two and just bring them together. And the last tip is to change your mindset. This is going to be half the battle. You can't reinvent yourself if you're stuck in your past self and you're stuck in a negative, not so great mindset. You want to have a healthy, positive mindset that allows you to actually cultivate these things. And I also think having an abundance mindset is huge. For me, I wanna accept more abundance in my life. I've been having an abundant mindset for a few years now, but every year it grows exponentially because I do think that every year I get more, I guess, well-versed in certain things. Like when I first started making money, I was really excited to spend money on like luxury purchases. Now that I'm in like my third year, third or fourth year making money, I would say that that is not really something that is super important to me. Now granted, I'll always love luxury items, but to be honest, what I wanna start spending money on are investments and things that have to do with me pouring back into my work as well. My work is so important to me that anytime I spend money, I want my work to be able to somehow, some way be used in that. So from now on, I'm gonna be starting to spend more money on my home because I film in my home. I wanna start spending more money on things that matter and can help me grow as a person and just helping my image and my life overall, which is huge for me. So having a positive mindset, having an abundance mindset, being motivated, kind of curating a healthy space for yourself to grow as a human being will allow your reinventing process to just continue and propel in a good way. I hope this video helped you guys. Reinventing yourself in a healthy way is important. You don't wanna overdo it. You don't need to become that girl by doing 12, 3, 30, four times a day, drinking a green smoothie, you know, acting like you do Pilates like Lori Harvey and eating like a 1200 calorie diet, like no. 
Let's reinvent ourselves in a healthy way. Things that are small strides for us personally and actually creating healthy habits will just do it for you overall. So hopefully this helps. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and check out Thrive Market so you guys can get your box today. And yeah, guys, I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.